Uh, thank you to those in attendance here at the Conway Center, those of you watching on Fox Sports North and on Timberwolves.com, and those of you listening on the radio home of the Wolves, 830 WCCO, and all across the Timberwolves radio network. Today we're excited to welcome the newest additions to the Twin Cities and to the Timberwolves family. Guard Jared Culver, the sixth overall pick in June's draft. Guard Jalen Noel, the 43rd overall selection, and fellow rookie center Nas Reed. Jarrett was named Big 12 Player of the Year after averaging 19 points, six rebounds, and four assists for Texas Tech last season. A second team All-American, Jarrett led the Red Raiders to the NCAA championship game in Minneapolis where he had 15 points, nine rebounds, and five assists in the overtime loss to Virginia. He was named to the Final Four All-Tournament team and was also named the West Region's Most Outstanding Player. The Lubbock, Texas native made Texas Tech history by becoming the first player to surpass the 1,000 point mark as a sophomore. Jalen Noel was named the Pac-12 Player of the Year by the coaches after averaging 16 points on 50% shooting. He also added five rebounds and three assists in his sophomore season at the University of Washington. An all Pac-12 first team selection by the coaches and media this past season, the six foot four guard became the fastest player in Washington history to reach 1,000 career points. The Seattle native was one of 10 finalists for the Jerry West Award, recognizing the nation's top shooting guard. Nas Reed played for the Timberwolves in Summer League and was one of the most impressive players in Las Vegas. He averaged 12 points and five rebounds over seven games, including a team-high 20-point effort in Minnesota's semifinal win over Brooklyn. The 6'10 center appeared in 34 games as a freshman for Louisiana State last season, where he averaged 14 points on a team-high seven rebounds. The New Jersey native was named to the SEC All-Freshman team after leading the Tigers to the SEC regular season championship and a berth in the tournament and a run to the Sweet 16. To tip off today's press conference, we'll hear some words from President of Basketball Operations, Gerson Rosas, then head coach Ryan Saunders, and then finally we'll hear from Jarrett, Jalen, and Nas before opening it up to some questions from the media. Gerson? Thank you, Alan. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with all of you today. This is an important day for our program, uh, not just because we're announcing the newest players to our program, but also where we're at. Uh, this community center, we're, we're part of this community, and it's important for us to represent in the best way possible. And I'm excited about these individuals, not just as players, but as people. And uh, today, the uh, it's about their families coming into our families. And uh, we've got high character um, individuals who are passionate uh, about their family and character and the game of basketball. And when you can unite all those things, it makes it special. Um, but special day for the organization. You talk about the initial group that's entering this program and this draft. And uh, we feel like this period was very productive for us. Uh, we added talented individuals who have the capability to play the way we want to play, uh, but high character uh, individuals who are passionate about the game and who want to do great things. And as we build out our program, as we talk about the things that we want to be, it's about them. It's about the players. And today's a special day for them and their family. And starting with uh, Jared Culver, uh, you know, a lot of serendipity in uh, being here in Minnesota, and uh, this is uh, a young, a young man, a young professional who's come a long way uh, from Lubbock, Texas, and led his program uh, to a championship game, and uh, is represented by a great family, and we really value those traits, those characteristics, um, and uh, I've been in the league almost 20 years, and I had a pretty interesting experience this morning um, coming into the office at. 6.30 uh, with one of our scouts, and uh, as I'm coming in, somebody opens the door for me. Uh, and it's Jared on his way out the building after just having finished his workout, which speaks to who he is and what he's about. And when you want to build a championship sustainable program, those are the individuals that you want. And when your best players are your hardest workers, they set the tone for the program. So. We're excited about Jared, uh, not only a special individual, but a talented player, uh, a big wing with two-way ability, a playmaker, a scorer, but a defender that can guard multiple positions. And uh, 
it, he's a high-end um, addition to our program. We're excited. There's a lot of work to do, um, but we feel like he complements our philosophy and our best player pretty strongly. So um, Jalen Noel uh, is a guy we're very excited about. Um, also a guy who decided to stay home in uh, Seattle, Washington and, and play for his program and did some great things there. And we feel like he's a young player with a lot of upside, a lot of talent, and fits how we want to play. Comes from a great family uh, that values winning. You know, the success that they had in Washington is something that we want to translate here. Um, and last but not least, uh, Mr. Nas Reed. Um, has come on the scene and like many of us in this program has a chip on his shoulder and he's got something to prove and today is a special day for him as well um, we're, we're announcing that he signed a multi-year deal to be part of our program so this whole class is the foundation of our organization and we're very proud and excited about it first off i want to thank uh, conway community center and the sana foundation for allowing us uh, to be here it's, it's special to see young hoopers and uh, you know kids kids here uh, being able to share share it this day uh, because these guys were, were you guys at, at one point in their careers in their young careers um, it's a great day for Minnesota Timberwolves basketball uh, for a number of reasons the, not only are we getting very talented individual basketball players and winners and guys who will buy into a program but we're getting three high character individuals very high character, and we see that uh, by being around their families. So we want to welcome families, loved ones um, who are here today, you know, to our family, and uh, just let you know that, that we value you guys and we value, value these individuals here. Um, these three guys are, are guys we've been very high on. Uh, ever since going through, you know, starting to go through the draft process, and, you know, as coaches, you know, we, we get a chance to really follow them, um, usually once our season's finished, uh, dive into the film, dive into the analytics, the stats, and just really see what these guys can bring to, to a basketball team. And I speak on their character, but also their basketball abilities um, and how they fit into what we want to do here in Minnesota in terms of doing things differently as well. Uh, they'll be big for that. Um, you look at a guy like Jarrett, he, uh, he's a two-way player, two-way player that's versatile. Um, his ability to get into seams and make plays for others, ability to get into seams and, and make plays for himself at the rim uh, is big. And, you know, he's, he's been continuing to work on his three-point jump shot. And, you know, he's, I've been very impressed in the workouts that we've had with him already. He's, he's been, been very diligent. In, in, uh, and as, as we see, you know, Gers told the story this morning, um, I came in there early too, and I told him that it's probably my first time, whether it be an assist, as an assistant or a head coach, that a player really – probably beat me to the gym and he was in there with a the full lather um, so that got me excited you know it, it shows you know how much these these guys here these young guys really want it with our group um, talking about Jalen uh, it was very clear early on with Jalen you know his ability to score the basketball is something that will translate to the NBA something that you know I feel very good about with our group um, you know his finishing in the open court how he can finish through contact um, his toughness his strength um, and his ability to be a two-way player. Um, I feel that, that both, both those guys will continue to get better and better uh, in terms of knowing you know, defensive coverages and, and off offensively knowing where, where they can find their spots, their roles, and where they can really fill in gaps with this team. Uh, one, one thing with Jalen that when I had dinner with him early on um, and his mother, um, I really w was drawn to his mentality, his mentality and, and how he approaches the game, his toughness and really just him, how he wants to be great. And, uh, you know, you can say that for, for both Jalen and Jarrett. Um, and then Nas, it's been, uh, you know, over, the, over this last week and a half, really getting to know Nas, he's, uh, I mean, everybody was able to see what he can do um, in, in a competition setting in summer league. And he really came, out, came onto the scene. People see that he's, he's a big that can, that can blend in nicely in a modern offense where his ability to shoot the ball, his ability to, to finish inside, um, and then also putting him at the top of the key and him, his ability to make plays, make plays for others. And he's unselfish. Um, his feel is great for the game, uh, can continue to improve. Only, being only 19 years old, Nas? 
being only 19 years old, he's, uh, you know, he, he's, he's got tremendous upside, and his talent is something that, that Minnesota fans uh, should really be, be, uh, be looking forward to seeing, seeing grow. So it's a, like I said, it's a great day for Minnesota Timberwolves basketball because um, not only are you getting three very talented basketball players, but you're getting three very high-character individuals. Well, first off, I just want to thank God just for the opportunity I have to play basketball at the highest level and just everything I worked for since a kid. Um, I want to thank my family, my, my two parents, my two brothers, Trey and JJ, my cousin G and grandma. Uh, just being by my side, sticking with me, I wouldn't be here without y'all. And of course, I want to thank my team behind me, Kay, Ron, and Chris. Are we, I mean, we've been through it all. Y'all helped me through this whole process and I mean, I, I appreciate y'all so much. And then the organization of Minnesota Timberwolves, I'm just thankful for y'all taking a chance and opportunity on a kid from Lubbock. I'm excited to get to work. I'm excited for the long journey that we're going to have. And, you know, I want to win as bad as these coaches and the culture they're building. So, I mean, I'm excited for it. And then Lubbock, Texas, uh, and Texas Tech, uh, just everything we've been through. And I grew up my hometown in Lubbock. I'm just excited for everything that, that's, that's to come and everything that came. So. I mean, I'm ready to get to work, and I'm excited for everything to come. And I mean, I'm just excited to be a Minnesota Timberwolf. Uh, first off, I would like to thank God. Uh, I'd like to thank my mother, grandma, auntie, little brother over there, God brother. Um, you know, it, it's, it's been an amazing journey. Um, worked very hard, very hard to get to this point. Um, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Uh, I want to thank the University of Washington. Um, you know, they took a chance on a young kid coming in, a uh, young 17-year-old, and, um, you know, the, the organization of the Minnesota Timberwolves, um, you know, you guys uh, took a chance on a 19-year-old kid at the time, uh, just turned 20. Um, you know, uh, I, I'm ready to come in and, 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 and be a part of this program and, and just work, work my, my butt off every day. And um, when, when Coach Ryan says, uh, we were one of you guys, uh, I literally was. I came, I came from Rotary Boys and Girls Club. I was in the gym like this uh, every day, just, just playing. Um, and, you know, me and my friends, uh, you know, just running up and down just, just every day. Uh, uh, this is what really made me love the game of basketball. So, um, you know, you guys, uh, hope, hope you guys look at us and, and, and see that it, you guys can accomplish this too, whether, whether it's basketball or anything you guys want. Um, you know, just work is work. Work very hard, and you know you guys can accomplish anything you guys want to. Um, first, want to thank God as well. Um, my family been through so much together. Um, I mean, I couldn't imagine even being here today without you guys. I mean, the struggle. I mean, just not being able to do a lot of things in life. Whereas though today, I mean, we have an opportunity to provide and just do a lot of great things uh, for each other. And um, I've been in your shoes since I was, I was probably say fifth, I was in fifth grade. I mean, Boys and Girls Clubs. I mean, I just, I built a lot of relationships throughout the Boys and Girls Clubs. I'm just, it's a wonderful thing to have. I mean, you know, it's exciting. You just see other your peers grow up with you and just doing amazing, amazing things with you and just, just being wonderful towards each other. Um, and then just the Timberwolves, I want to thank the Timberwolves for believing in me and no, when nobody else did. Um, you guys see the potential I have and the upside I have and, you know, the chip on my shoulder. And, you know, I just want to win. I've always been the winner. I've been a sore loser. So, um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I want to win. And, um, you know, I'm just going to do whatever I, I can to help this team win. Thank you, gentlemen. Now we'll open it up to some uh, questions from the media. We've got some microphones being passed around. Uh, if you could just state your name and your affiliation before asking your question. John? John Krasinski from The Athletic. For both Jared and Jalen, you grew up uh, in one place, went to school in one place. What is your emotions like just in terms of coming to a new city, getting to know a new community in addition to what you're going to be doing and pursuing an NBA dream? Um, for me, I'm excited for it. Uh, it's a new adventure for me, for sure, just getting out of Lubbock, Texas, and, I mean, just everything that's to come. I'm excited to get involved with the community, uh, play my heart out every night with the team, and, you know, just be a part of the city and everything that comes with it. So I'm just very excited to be a part of this. 
for me, uh, it's very exciting and, and nerve wracking. Uh, you know, being in a new place, uh, growing up, same area, uh, being in the same area for almost uh, 19 years. But uh, honestly, I could say that uh, Minnesota is a little bit like Seattle, so I feel like it's going to be uh, get get very comfortable. Um, you know, uh, this this time. So. Chris Hine from the Minneapolis Star Tribune. This question's for Nas. Uh, what did it feel like to sign that contract today? And just how good did you feel coming off the summer league? And, and how badly did you want to prove to maybe the rest of the league that they made a mistake in, in passing you over? Um, I mean, it felt great to sign the contract today, things like that. But, um, you know, I felt as though I mean, not being drafted humbled me a lot more. Um, I mean, just put a, a bigger chip on my shoulder. Uh, whereas though, you know, I just go out every day and whoever's in front of me just try to do whatever I can to stop them or, you know, just just do, the, do my best of my abilities every night. And um, just, you know, I may have taken plays off uh, in high school, college, whereas though, I mean, now I feel as though every, every bit of effort in me is going to be displayed on the floor. Danny Cunningham, score north for Jarrett. When we had talked to you in Vegas, it was just after the trade went through, so you really hadn't been a part of the Wolves as an organization for very long. How have your first two weeks with this organization gone? Yeah, draft night, it was a, it was a great experience, a crazy night. And I mean, just these two weeks being here, it's been amazing just getting involved and being able to be a part of this team. And you kind of see what they're building and you're seeing the things they want to do for the future and see, what, see everything that's coming together. So me just being a part of that, I'm so blessed. And, I have a great opportunity ahead of me, and I'm going to take full advantage of what I have and what they've given me. And, you know, just go out and work hard every day. And, you know, I'm trying to win just as bad as these coaches and everybody else. So I'm going to go out and give it my all and do my best that I can every night. And I'm just glad to be a part of this culture that they're building. Uh, Britt Robson with The Athletic. A question for both Gerson and Ryan. Um, point guard is a position that probably has the most uncertainty on this team moving forward two or three years down the road. What about Jared's ball handling ability do you feel can compensate for that or how much do you regard him as somebody, I hear the word playmaker a lot, can you see him as a primary guy in the half court offense in that respect? I'll, I'll let um, Coach uh, Saunders expand on it but from a team building perspective we want the most talented best players we can get into this program. Uh, our style of play, whether it's offensively, um, execution-wise, we're going to have multiple ball handlers. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a, a very talented player in Carl Anthony Towns who plays not only inside and outside, can not only score, but can also pass. So our ability to play through him gives a guy like Jared or Jalen. I mean, you guys saw a lot of what Nas did in summer league with his passing ability. It's we want to be hard to guard and we want to be dynamic. And by that, it means guys get multiple opportunities to make plays. So we'd love to have the best point guard we can get into this program. And that's my job, you know, whether that's draft, free agency or trades, that's what we're going to be focused on. Uh, but as we build this program, we want to give guys like Jared and Jalen an opportunity to grow and develop and see if they can be that guy for us. So to be able to have a guy like Jared who did it in college at a high level, uh, who had the level of success that he had at Texas Tech as their point guard, as their playmaker, in terms of projection, that lends well for itself. I've long been, been in favor of having multiple ball handlers and almost playing, you can play two point guards together. Um, you see that happen a number of times in the NBA, but like uh, Gerson said, you know, we want to put you know, the most talent we have uh, out, out there on that court and maximize that talent. And how we do that is, is within our system, we believe. Um, I think we, we were able to see some of that in summer league, but we want to be a team that has, um, you know, has general uh, sets, but then players, you know, intelligent basketball players that read off those sets where we're allowing their talents to flourish. And we're allowing their player development that we'll be doing on off days or on practice days, you know, before games, we're allowing that to shine through. And with that, you know, and, and I'll, I'll bring Jalen in, into the mix too, as well as Nas. Um, you know, Jarrett, he obviously playing, you know, some point guard, um, he's a playmaker. And he, he's able to make reads, so are these other two guys as well. Um, so it's one of those things that you can never have too many, you know, good decision makers on the court. So we do look at him as a guy who, who can be um, in, in, that, in that mold in the future. 
Uh, Don Mitchell, Fox 9. I'm going to start with Nas, but I also want to get your input. Nas, how important was it to, once the talking is done and the signing is done, to actually get in and play basketball, to have the competition of summer league and to kind of just learn and show what you can do? And, and for Jarrett and Jalen, are you chomping at the bit to actually stop talking, stop practicing, and just get in there and play? Um, going into summer league, um, I kind of had a mindset where I just wanted to you know, play the best of my abilities, um, uh, outplay the other talented guys on the court because, I mean, obviously everybody else is uh, playing the best of their abilities as well. I mean, um, Coach Pavo, he just, he was a funny coach. He just always is supportive and, you know, he helped me throughout the summer league process and as well as all the other coaches. Um, I mean, it was definitely a fun experience. Um, I was excited to be there and, like I said before, I'm I'm happy that they believed in me. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. Um, you know me. Um, you know I. I've never been a guy who likes to likes to talk. I really just love to to play the game. So um, you know, coming from from Seattle, not a lot of people even really knew who I was or like even know where I'm from. Uh, sometimes. So. But they, but they know I, I love to play the game of basketball, and that's really what I'm looking forward to. Uh, for me, the uh, same thing as you were saying. Uh, it's just my love for the game, just want to get out there and play and compete. And, you know, you control what you can control. And, I mean, I get in the gym every day, work hard. So once it's time to compete, uh, I'm going to go out there and do my best. And I am ready to play. <laughs> Jace Frederick, Pioneer Press. Nas, what have the swing of emotions been like over this last month, just from probably some disappointment not being drafted to getting that two-way deal to, I'm sure, a lot of excitement today, um, signing the multi-year deal? Just what has this kind of roller coaster been like over these past 30 days or so? Uh, honestly, I wasn't really uh, upset that I wasn't drafted. This kind of made me more, uh, you know, excited. I get an uh, opportunity to just go out and prove and just show everybody that I can do what I can do. and. You know, and um, I say this in the most humblest way, I don't feel like there's much guys who can compare to me in certain aspects. And I'm just, I'm just happy I get a chance to, to prove it, and I'm excited that I get a chance to, so. Uh, Charlie Walter, St. Paul Pioneer Press. For Jarrett, uh, you got out of the building at 6.30 this morning. What time did you get in? Oh, say that again? Yeah, I'm you, sorry. You, you left. It's, Gerson mentioned that you got out of the workout at 6.30. What time were you in the building to work out? Oh, this is, I went downstairs and worked out in the morning. Yeah, yeah. What, how early? <laughs> oh, I worked out at 6. 6 or 6 a.m., yeah. okay, good. 